Okay, so let's take a look at New Window 10 uh, editing functions. I've got a project here. I can pull on the cursor here to zoom horizontally or use the H and G key to zoom horizontally so I can get a better look at the uh, clip that I'm looking at here. I can sh By pressing and holding the Shift key and the H and G, you can also zoom uh, vertically. Uh, so if I select a clip, using the object tool which is uh, my on my toolbox here so each actually you can just switch tool by just pushing uh, number one two three four five six seven so on so if i select uh, number one would be my object tool i can click on the clip uh, you can see on the event that the event is selected it's got, it's got a red uh, frame around it and it also you can also visualize it on the bottom if you want to that's a zoom bottom here I'll get a closer look. You can, uh, on the upper left, you can fit in. On the, uh, uh, you know, let's uh, zoom out a little bit here so we get a closer look. Uh, and then I can fade out here. You can actually trim um, the front, uh, trim the tail. You have a, a volume change here. There's a little icon here. Uh, you can choose to change the volume of the clip. Now, all the information about this clip actually on your info line on top here. So you can see the name of the clip. You can see where it starts. Uh, those are all time, co time code value, offset, snap. You can also change. Uh, you can type a value if you want to. If you want to just uh, add 5 dB to this clip, you can just do that or reset it to zero here. You can also transpose it if you want directly by just typing uh, a number in here. On that info bar you have three function on the object you have a normal sizing you have sizing move content you have sizing apply time stretch so you have a different behavior depending on which uh, object tool you have selected and you can just push the number one to switch so if I look at the uh, time um, the number two which is the size moving content you'll have a different behavior uh, on the trim function and then if you push the, uh, select the time stretch, uh, you'll also have, you're basically stretching this clip and it will give you an indication that this clip has clearly stretched your little icon in the upper right corner there. By going to the edit story, you can always undo, it's unlimited undo, so you can do whatever, play with it, uh, without worry about, uh, oh, what I just did, I, I didn't want to do that. You can always undo everything and it will tell you um, details about what you did. If you look at the draw tool, uh, it allows you to actually create an envelope for the selected clips so you can actually create uh, a different envelope for that event. Uh, if I push number two, that's a wrench tool. The wrench tool actually have two modes. It's got mode A and B. So A and B will give you two, two different selections. For example, in this clip here, let's say I was looking for a, a gun shot. Uh, and let's just say that this audio here is a bunch of, of a gunshot and I have. I can actually select a gunshot to see how it fits within that project, within the, uh, the, the film, and uh, switch between two locations. So I can just uh, go here and select the gun. So I'll try that. And then I push uh, wrench A and just paste it. So, for example, copy here and then I'll go, I'm sorry, A right here and paste, and I just get pasted my gunshot here and then see how it fits within the scene. One of the functions you have also, if I go back to my object tools, you have uh, tool modifiers for each tool, which means that you can, if you go to uh, preferences, new window preferences, under tool modifiers, you will be able to change the behavior of the tool, switch tool essentially, uh, by using modifier. So see, if I select my select tool, I can see that if I, press and hold option shift then I can slip the event and if I push press and hold option then I can split the event on the select tool so you could also assign different modifier if you'd like for each tool so if I do this if I see I pay a press and hold shift and option then you can see I can actually slide the content of the clip around here and if I press and hold the option key I can simply split this event multiple events and each event will have a little icon so I can uh, adjust the editing on each clip. The Play as Crop tool is available if your control room is enabled. 
You can use the play tool to play any event within the project or the scrub tool to play any selected event at different speed. So you have other tools you could use. If, for example, if I select the wrench tool here, I've got a wrench selected. If I right click on that region, uh, I can have additional uh, editing tools such as cut time, delete times, uh, insert silence available here, as well as processes. I can actually process, uh, add gain or resample or reverse that particular uh, region, particular wrench, uh, selected wrench, as well as plugin. In where all the plugins are available, uh, and I can process that uh, selected region directly from there. Uh, another option would be to use the uh, sample editor. So I can double click on an event. It will open, in this case, it will open the lower zone, but you can also change the preferences. You can also open uh, in a different window here. So if I look at the sample editor, you have also two different zones uh, in here, so the left zone and the right zone. So on the right zone, I can simply use my wrench tool and add a region. And let's say name that region, let's say effects number one, and it will automatically find a start and stop. And I can just apply a process, plugin, um, that way I can create different region and navigate to them. So if I add a different region here, I can just say FX number two. And uh, let's say this will be, um, uh, uh, let's say reversed. It will reverse that region, right? And like, so I can simply uh, then have different region selected here, which I can uh, uh, fine tune if I want to from there. On the left zone, uh, you have different tools, also audio wrap, uh, vary audio, you can activate hit points, uh, range, and processes directly from the sample editor. Now, if we go back to the original clip here, uh, if we look at the crossfade functions, if I select a clip and just, let's say, move it on top of another, you can see the stripe here uh, by just uh, uh, hitting the X button, I will create a crossfade. That crossfade can be, let's just say, create, let's create a couple of crossfade here. I can just double click on the crossfade to open it. Now we have a sample crossfade and an advanced crossfade, which is available in the preferences. This is the advanced crossfade. The advanced crossfade allows you to change the, uh, the, the, the fade, the crossfade, uh, on each side, you can play fade out, play cross fade, play fade in, you can move the audio, move the fade around, and you can also switch different, between different uh, cross fade you have within that selected event. Um, and it's all within the cross fade editor here. Now, another thing to look at uh, is the project logical editor, which allows you to manipulate different function uh, directly from here. So you have different examples, for example, here, uh, where you can uh, 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 change, for example, here, uh, change this one and shift the events by two frame. Now, let's say I want to shift this entire project by two frame, or let's say I want to change it by 10 frame. I can easily change that number here. Now, here, uh, I'm changing that number to 10 frame and I can just apply this edit to the entire project. In addition, I can activate a macro, and when I, I click Apply, it will apply the uh, logical editor uh, selection and the macro at the same time. So very uh, useful tools if you want to uh, uh, work on an entire project and change different things for namings, for uh, MIDI parts, uh, audio parts, etc. Finally, let's take a look at the audio alignment panel, which is uh, the icon here on the upper right. Uh, so I open it from there. I can select a reference file by just selecting it in here. Uh, one or multiple files, depending on how many files you want to align to the reference file. So in this case, I'm just going to select this other clip, this other event. And from there, I can just match word or prefer time shifting, 
and select a percentage of precision. It could be 100%, 50%, 80%, and simply uh, align those two audio files. 